You may have had a retinal photograph taken as part of your eye examination and wondered exactly what is my optometrist looking at. If you look at this photograph here, you can see this small dark area, which we call the macula. The macula is the most sensitive part of the eye, and in some patients, as they get older, they develop a condition called age-related macular degeneration, where they do lose some of their central vision. Over to the side here, this slightly unusual round structure you can see is the optic nerve head. You can see that it's sort of pink around the edge, but quite pale in the middle. The optometrist will look closely at the optic nerve because this pallor which you can see in the middle can sometimes indicate early glaucoma. You can also see quite clearly the retinal veins and arteries. The veins are the thicker ones, they're, they're a little bit darker in colour, almost a purple, or purple colour. That's because they're carrying blood which doesn't contain any oxygen because it's going back to the heart. The arteries are thinner and they're a brighter red colour because they're carrying blood which is full of oxygen, bringing blood to the eye. It's important to look closely at the veins and arteries because this is where we see changes in patients with high blood pressure and patients with um, diabetes. The eye, in fact, is the only place in the body where the veins and arteries can be directly observed without making an incision. This retinal photograph is of a healthy eye but it will still be saved in the patient's record so that when the patient returns for their eye examination in one or two years time, another retinal photograph will be taken and the photographs can be compared and any changes which are taking place will be spotted immediately.